Okay guys, this is gonna be a pretty impromptu video. I'm in California. I'm actually going to go visit with the charging company tomorrow to do some behind the scenes videos with you guys. I've got the Lucid. We're jumping in the Lucid because uh, I just got a Twitter DM from a follower and he said he's got something pretty cool. Let me tell you about it. So I got a Twitter message from Nick and Nick said, hey, I work for a dealer group here in the San Jose area. I happen to be in Cupertino right now, but basically in San Jose. And um, he's like, we have, or I guess they used to be a new Coda dealership, Coda Electric. And they're like, we actually have a brand new unsold Coda that like someone discovered in the back of their parking lot. And they're like, what do we need to do to get rid of this thing? And I was like, well, I'm like 10 miles away, so I'm coming over. And that's exactly what we're doing now. We're gonna go see an unsold brand new Coda Electric. I mean, perhaps they'll even sell it to me. I don't know. I don't know if they're even able to sell it to me because the dealers went under and they can't retail. If they own the car, they should be able to sell it. I don't know. So many questions. Um, I guess on the way, just to give you a little bit of background, I'll tell you more about the car when we get there. Uh, this is just coming off the top of my memory. Coda Electric started shipping uh, electric vehicles. They were like Chinese cars that they adapted with off-the-shelf electric components. I believe it's an LFP battery pack, 31 kilowatt hours roughly. Uh, they're the most boring, bland looking, uninteresting electric cars, but they were sold in California only. They sold 120 of them, 115, somewhere around there before they went under. Um, and um, my friend who has a YouTube channel called Aging Wheels here, he has one. And so the only thing I know about the Coda is from his videos. And so I was like, what the heck? There's a new one. I know he got his at really low mileage and it was like a disaster. <laughs> but I thought it would be kind of cool to at least go check this thing out and relive a little bit of electric vehicle history here uh, and go see a brand new Coda. It's still got the window sticker in the back window from the photos he sent me. So this is pretty amazing. So we're taking like the new, newest, most luxurious, most tech, focused electric car, the Lucid Air, to go look at, you know, a very primitive EV from over 10 years ago. Uh, it's pretty amazing how far it's come, how far technology has come. This car was $40,000, the window sticker said, and it had a range of like 75 miles. Um, and I believe it was liquid cooled battery pack, liquid thermal management. We have a lot to explore here. Let's run. We are 7.7 .7 miles away, typical California fashion, 20 minutes. So not the end of the world. That's not terrible traffic. Let's blast on over to this Volkswagen dealer and take a look at this Coda Electric. Here we go, pulling up to Volkswagen here in San Jose. I think it's called uh, Capital Volkswagen. He told me to meet him over here and um, we're about to do that. We're at 50% state of charge, all is good. Man, we've really racked up the miles on this Lucid. I'll have a full ownership update coming soon with me and my dad talking about this car, what he thinks of it, what I think of it. But uh, let's go see what's going on over here. They got some Mach-E's, Broncos, ID4s. I see some Teslas. Hmm, should be interesting. I've met up with Nick and uh, Nicole over here and we're gonna go take a look at the Coda. These guys are awesome. And uh, sounds like the dealer group's super EV focused. They're doing something with a truck over here, but the Coda's in the back. Oh, there it is. <laughs> so sick. Go look at this thing. And here it is. Holy smokes, a 2012 Coda Electric sitting at the original dealer lot. Nick was saying that this dealer group, DGDG, used to own Coda, which was it? What was the name of it? Coda Silicon Valley. Coda Silicon Valley. And I guess this was a car that you're not really sure who owns it, right? No one really knows. No documents, <laughs> no keys. It's been back here for a decade since that dealer closed. Oh my and, God. Uh, we don't know where the keys are. We don't know where any of the documents are. We don't really know what the status of the car is. We're trying to figure that out. Okay, so, yeah. so the car is kind of in limbo. It's like uh, no one really owns it it's technically. In no man's land right now. Yeah. You also have, is that a Spark Electric? Yeah. What? That's so cool. Um, cool cars all around. But this thing is so new, it still has the window sticker in it. So it's basically a zero mile, we think. We're gonna try and get a 12 volt jump box and put some 12 volt on it, see what happens. 
We think it's basically brand new. The tires are all flat. The brake rotors are all extremely rusted. I mean, it's just, you know, been neglected. The paint's sitting out in the California sunshine with no protection. The tires looking rough. They basically melted into the pavement. Nick was saying that it used to be back over here and someone probably dragged it out here just maybe for some lot maintenance or something. We're not totally sure. But um, let's take a look at the inside. We think someone may have lived in it for a short period of time. It's uh, some dog hair around. There's some shampoo. <laughs> there's just there's some pants up there i'll show you as well again original sticker though so like drive train wise it's got the optional leather if we take a look here it was 39.7 it had the 1495 dollar extra nice premium trim package came with an alpine premium audio system and full leather if we take a look here it looks like someone's ripped out the alpine and uh so that's doesn't seem like that hard of a thing to replace, actually. It has the original Coda owner's manual, which is amazing. Someone's pants just from being in the back of the lot. Who knows what happened in this thing? If we somehow figure out a way to get it to Colorado, Colton's going to have to spend like a year just burning this thing and rebuilding it. And uh, <laughs> this one, by the way, is number 33 of 500. Again, they only made 117 or sold 117. We are not sure if this one counts towards that 117 or if this is one of those cars that just was forgotten about. It was built. There's no paperwork on it. Um, crazy, isn't it? So let's take a look over here and see if we can find the VIN anywhere. Does it even have a VIN plate? There we go. VIN 84. Very interesting. Nick, would you mind popping the front trunk for me? Yeah. Or sorry, the hood. I'm so used to electric cars. <laughs> um, by the way, Nick and Nicole both have electric cars and, and tons of EVs around here. It's like super EV focused dealer group. Can't forget about this. Yeah, let's let's show everyone what's going so, on in here. This was in the glove box. It's a Coda branded zip pouch. And inside, we've got the owner's manual. I don't want to ruin the paint, so. <laughs> <laughs> Maintenance guide, quick reference guide, tire warranty stuff. Uh, more warranty stuff. I'm not sure the warranty is going to come with the car. And uh, this is the coolest part. It's a sealed first 500, 33 of 500 keychain. That's amazing. It it's the, the keychain that matches the car. So. Somehow wasn't stolen out of it when people were living inside yeah. of it. We don't know if anyone lived inside of it, but... Something happened. So, yeah, happened. Stuff, we are not going to ask any questions <laughs> or try and review any footage from the last 10 years. <laughs> um, but, but, I mean, it all seems there. The batteries in it, the high voltage components are in it. I mean, it kind of just seems like it's never been used before. And so you can see here underneath everything going on you got your 100 kilowatt electric motor you have an onboard charger you have your 12 volt battery wow fuses right over here as well some hvac stuff we've definitely put some new filters in this thing if we figure out a way to get it um pretty incredible how poorly it's held up considering it hasn't done anything exactly <laughs> really a testament to that chinese build quality <laughs> it is technically an american electric vehicle one thing that's interesting is if we were to figure out a way to title it does it yeah. technically qualify for the 7500 hundred dollar tax credit <laughs> no idea i i actually think it's, it would do you think it would because it would be from a new car would dealer new car it's never been claimed you'd have to like I don't know if the manufacturer yeah may have to register it i doubt yeah. it it doesn't matter in our case anyway because we'd buy it under the company and it wouldn't actually be much help to us <laughs> but um <laughs> i don't know we can't we can't really open up the charge port we might have to pry that open the trunk is locked right now so we're getting the 12 volt jump back jump box try and put some uh power to this thing and see what happens um i don't know much about the coda but lfp battery is my understanding hopefully when we get some power on it'll tell us the mileage in here and I mean, it doesn't smell bad in there at all. This seems to have just kind of shrunk and uh, delaminated, but that just seems like a glue problem, not actually like any damage. I think that was just aging due to temperature differences. Wow, it's a brand new Coda and uh, years after this thing. I mean, does anyone even remember the Coda? I've only seen one on the road. Around here, have you seen any? No, never saw one. I think I saw one at the Silicon Valley Auto Show back when it first came out like 10 years ago and like that was it, it was that's that, crazy that in this car amazing to think that this launched around the same time as the leaf yeah around the same time it was, as it was 
pre-Model S, I think. Yeah. Right around the same time when the concept of Model S came out. Yeah, right around Model S. Amazing to think about uh, this. And it was just such a terrible design. And I think one of the least efficient electric cars on sale at the time as well. It had only like 73 MPGE, which is terrible. <laughs> So yeah, let's, uh, Nicole's running to get the jump box. Let's wait for her to come back and see what happens. See if it explodes when we put some low voltage on this thing. I don't know. <laughs> it's LFP, so it actually is probably fine, but we'll see. We're just uh, looking into the owner's manual here. We pulled the, the seat forward because I believe the 12 volts actually in the trunk, not up front, as I stated earlier. And um, just pulling it down, I found this in the trunk, the original 120 volt to J1772 EVSE. This must be what it came with back in the day. It's 12 amps, which is surprising. Uh, it's UL listed, Intertech as well. Wow, check this thing out. Super cool. What else is back here? There's a mobility kit, tire inflator kit. Wow, this is cool. I crawled in there. I pulled the uh, little pedestrian release thing right up here <laughs> and we got the 12 volt battery. Man, that thing looks fresh because it, it is. <laughs> Tire inflation kit is supposed to go there, but it pulled out. Someone's got a fresh set of floor mats for this thing. And what is this? Is that the spring that holds the trunk open? I don't know. It looks like it's supposed is to come it, with yeah, the car. The, the trunk is all, oh yeah, look, here's one right here. Oh wow, so, so that, that must have exploded. Out. Yeah temperature changes or something just bam <laughs> oh yeah here's the other one yeah absolutely how about that this is crazy coda part number 6000 series four-piece carpet it's like they would have they didn't have 5999 other products <laughs> here comes the golf cart <laughs> awesome trunk's open wonder if it'll even let us jump it considering that the battery is so bad. All right. Oh, I heard some clicks. All right. So I'm just going to let this rest down here. Let's see what's going on in here. So far, nothing. Oh, wait. Door open sign is lit. Okay. We're making some progress here. Oh, boy. So that works. What about up here? Do these work? No. Oh, yes. Aha! We got lights in here. No way. Wow. So it's it hasn't totally exploded now that it's got some 12 volt on it. That's cool. We just need to find the key, a way to activate the high voltage system. This is so freaking cool. Yeah, someone's got to have a key for this thing somewhere, I would think. Ten years, it's got to be at the bottom of the desks. I'm surprised the spare isn't in that key. What do you have here? Nothing. Whoa, even got a USB port? High quality. <laughs> so neat. Well, we don't know where the keys are and it doesn't seem like we can get much info, but take a look. It's still got the original Coda Silicon Valley plate frame on here. I believe there's another one on the front, actually. What a neat piece of history. I would like to say nicely preserved, but it really isn't. <laughs> it's got a Coda uh, front plate there, but not a Silicon Valley one. So neat. And um, yeah, we gotta find a way to bypass the keys. I mean, it really seems like it's never been driven. It, and the seats have like bubbled and like misshaped and misformed. I don't know like if stuff's been filmed or uh, spilled in there or what, but uh, super duper interesting here. So I'm now back at my hotel and just got a text from Nick. I gotta say a huge thank you to them for showing me the Coda around their dealership. It's awesome how many electric cars they have, how many hydrogen Nexos they have. I was like, what the heck? So I think I'm gonna go back tomorrow and review a Nexo. I've never driven one. I don't even think Hyundai has any to review in their media fleet. So yeah, let, I, let's make a video with the Nexo. Why not? It's kind of interesting. Uh, they have like 40 of them sitting on the lot. Uh, maybe good reason for that. I don't know. <laughs> but Nick said that they're going to go through the uh, state bonding process to try and obtain a title to the Coda since they've had it for 10 years. No one else wants it. And then they can sell it to me. I don't know what they're going to sell it to me for. Probably 
nothing. I don't even know. There's no recent transactions on Coda. It's probably worth a thousand dollars. I don't even know. But how cool would it be to have one go through the process of getting that fixed up? And who knows? It's probably not going to cost anything. If maybe a little bit, but uh, we'll see. We'll work with them on that whole thing. See if it's even possible for them to sell me the car. I'd love to get it, trailer it back to Colorado, um, try and figure out the key situation, get new tires, new brakes, see if the battery is good, and uh, then drive it. Why not? <laughs> it's so weird. It's so cool. So uh, we'll see what happens. They're working on that. Can't thank you enough for watching this video. This is just the cool opportunities YouTube brings. We have the best viewers. I always say this. And you guys hit me with some really interesting stuff. So the Coda Electric, who knew? I'd say there's probably a 50-50 chance it ends up in our hands or not. But either way, a very interesting story. I'll certainly update you if there happen to be any updates into the future. So thanks for watching. See you in another one soon. Bye-bye.